Elias Derkula has asked the question in the chat below. Okay. Trying to get around that uh, character limitation. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I want to build a sub 250 gram wing with the ZOHD Dart 250. I'm not sure which VTX to put in. It's between the Walksnail Nano V2 and the Walksnail Pro Kit. I'm concerned about heat management. Um, any digital VTX is going to overheat. You must get airflow to it. How exactly you do that is up to you. You could do it with like an air intake. Uh, you could do it with a fan. But you have to get airflow over a digital VTX. A way that some people do it is to is to carve out a recess in the wing and mount the VTX in the wing. Like literally just, re, just encase it in the wing. And the air going over the wing keeps it cool. I'm not saying that's the best way to do it, but it is a way to do it. But it is a problem you're going to have to solve because like a lot of planes, they're going to put the electronics in, oh, sorry, wrong screen. They're going to put the electronics inside the fuselage. And that's not going to work for a digital VTX. Um, like there's a lot of room in here to mount something. Is there a way that you could like cut out cut out a small slit in the side and put a 3D printed air intake and vent in the side, right? You need airflow through through there. Does the plane already have design for airflow through there? Because a lot of times these planes will already be designed to let some air through to cool the ESC. But, but you need airflow. You absolutely need air, airflow or it'll overheat no matter what you use. Um, if you put a fan on the VTX, you still need airflow. You need cool air to come into the fuselage somehow. Otherwise, you're just recirculating the air. Um, Super Deluxe points out there's a couple of different noses you can 3D print for the Dart. I'll, I'll bet one of them has uh, intake, air, air intake. Um, yeah, here's a great, this is great. Thank you for sharing this picture. Who shared this picture? John Goblin. John Goblin, thank you for sharing this picture. This is a fantastic approach. Love this approach. Right? That's going to keep that, that VTX super cool. Love it. <laughs> is it the best approach? No. Well, what's best, right? There's different things have different pros and cons. Like, I'm a little concerned that this uh, foam is going to rip away. Like, I might have preferred to 3D print some kind of holder that drops down in to give a little more rigidity. But that's going to totally work and should get your mind moving in the right direction. Um, best all-in-one for the 1S Baby Tooth. Honestly, man, uh, how many 1S all-in-ones are there these days? Are there very many? If I were to build one today, I would go buy the FPV Cycle one. Because it was like Bob Ruge, I'm not going to say he invented the toothpick because there were, he, he, people will argue with me, but he certainly pioneered the toothpick FPV cycle. And um, that's, his, that's his store, FPV cycle. And um, as far as the flight controller, 3S drivetrain, where's the 1S drivetrain? That's the TP3. Baby tooth 1S, 3 inch. There we go. Um, you know, the, the question is, is there something better that's been invented in the meantime? FPV cycle 1S AIO. Ah, does this still exist? It doesn't even exist. Well, okay. Chat. You want to help? That product is dead. One S all in one beta FPV has one. Yeah, they've always had one. And it's always been inferior to the toothpick, but the toothpick doesn't exist. Five amp also is a little questionable for a three inch toothpick. 
Five amp is, I would want like more like a 12 amp. I would feel better with a 12 amp. Oh. Oh, hello. Happy Model X12. Is that a good one? I knew some more. So this shows you how little I've thought about this question. Because I know the Happy Model X12 exists and I didn't think of it. But I, I, now I think it's like hands down better. 12 amp ESC, built in VTX, built in Express LRS. Is this the one? Is this like the ultimate flight controller for a 1S 3 inch toothpick? I can't see what the chat's saying. 5 amp ESC. To me, that's going to be a deal breaker. I don't think a 5 amp ESC is going to cut it. No, I don't think so. Is this it? Let's see what the chat is saying. Happy Model Super F405 has 20 amp and ELRS. That's high def. Uh, surely, does it still have analog hardware? Happy Model Super F405. Twenty amp four in one. Oh, that's hot. But that's a four in one ELRS. It doesn't have the video transmitter on board though, so that's the difference between the five in one Diamond, which has the VTX on board. So that's not a deal breaker. You would often have a standalone VTX for a toothpick. Okay, that looks that looks compelling. The Super F405 high def ELRS. Does it have uh, analog circuitry? Let's make sure. It doesn't. It doesn't, does it? Oh, that's a deal breaker. If it doesn't have analog circuitry, that's a deal breaker. No, this is only for digital. It doesn't have the OSD chip on it. This is not going to work for analog. And anybody building a 1S toothpick is, is clearly, well, I guess they could be using HD0. Is that a 2S only? Oh, damn. You guys. Nope, it's the X12. We're back to the X12 then. Oh, he wants walk snail. <sighs> I don't know about 1S. I would I would consider going 2S. If you're going to do walk snail, I would consider doing 2S. I think I think you're going to be happier with a 2S build, a 2S 3-inch toothpick than a than a 1S. It's my theory. All right. All right. Moving on. 